A couple of weeks ago, I've reported about Stordat, an Israeli company who is making Tesla-like 4680 batteries. Stordat turns out ultra-fast Tesla-like 4680 battery cells on mass production line now. Stordat, an Israeli-based electric vehicle battery startup, today claimed that it has become the first company to produce silicon-dominant extreme-fast charge called XFC cells for electric vehicles on a mass production line. Stordat's partner, EVE Energy in China, produced the A-series sample of XFC pouch cells. Stordat says that it is using existing production lines to reduce the need for extra investment to manufacture its batteries. This is why they are pro probably fast. The news also is reported on Electrex. This is why I saw that, so credit goes to them. The new XFC cells will be shipped to uh, automotive companies for testing now. The company says that its XFC cells will be produced at scale by 2024. As Electric previously has reported, store that announced in early September that it production it produced the first 4680 cylindrical cells that it claimed can charge in only 10 minutes. I'd reported on that also on store that sent us more information and I shared with you. 4680 refers to the size of the battery frames, which is bigger than any other cylindrical battery cells. In August, store that filed a charging time patent and opened the technology to the entire electric vehicle market. Market. On August 20th, store that announced that it will open a research and development innovation hub in the United States to speed up the development of solid state batteries. Now, Dr. Doran Meisdorf, store that CEO, said the following in this regard. He said, Mass production on new technologies is a critical step, which is why these first A-series samples are such a major milestone in technology roadmap. The XFC sample cells will shortly be shipped to our global car-making partners for real-world testing, and we are confident they will play a major role in increasing the crucial miles-per-minute rate, which is key to driving experience and eliminate range anxiety. Our rapid development process is a result of our technology being uniquely designed for manufacturing to be produced on existing Li-ion production lines, assisted by our proprietary artificial intelligence, which enables development from concept to production to be fast-tracked, meaning that we are now on track to manufacture these XFC cells in pouch or cylindrical form at scale by 2024. Well, this is very exciting in my opinion, friends, getting to mass production, being the first one on this size. You know, 4680 batteries have made a lot of noise because Tesla has talked about it. Tesla's, that's Tesla's new battery, but it refers only to the size, the technology used by Tesla and store that may be different and obviously are different, but it's interesting that store that is becoming the first mass producer of 4680 batteries. Please subscribe to our channel. If we hear more about this, we will bring it to you. We will kind of keep our finger on the pulse of this development as this is a development story. Um, and it's interesting to see which cars will be first uh, testing store that's new 4680 batteries will they come before tesla i don't know i would like to hear your thoughts if you're more familiar with this if you guys are from store that and hear this video i would appreciate you um, also sharing some comments explaining some of these questions in the comment section below this is armin Haria from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage have a great day peace be with all of you and your families love one another and let's move on to our next story i'll see you soon in our next story I'm going to tell you about Tesla's new battery. Tesla's new battery has cattle cells inside. In other words, Tesla's new 12 uh, volt Li ion auxiliary battery has cattle cells inside. It's time for an in depth teardown and presentation of Tesla's lithium ion 12 volt auxiliary battery. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. With the refreshed Model S Model X, Tesla switched recently from conventional lead acid to an all-new lithium-ion 12-volt auxiliary battery. Model 3, Model Y still uses a conventional one. Thanks to an outstanding two-part presentation and teardown conducted by Ingenierix, 
we can take an in-depth look at this new situation and this new solution by Tesla hinted at in early 2021 by Elon Musk and shown only briefly at the delivery event. This was first, of course, reported by Mark Kane of Inside EVs, and I will have the links of those videos of teardowns in the description of this video. But here's what's going on. The video starts with a general overview of why electric vehicles still use 12 volt auxiliary batteries and why they continue to use lead acid ones uh, while the main traction battery is lithium ion. The lead acid batteries turned out to be problematic in electric vehicles due to a different use case than a starter battery and manufacturers are expected to switch to lithium ion versions sooner or later, partially with the potential transaction to 46 volt auxiliary system. Some individual users were already replacing their 12 volt batteries with a Li ion version on their own. Is it Li ion or Li ion? I don't know, friends. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to improve my English. So, in general, a lithium ion battery should be smaller, lighter, more reliable, and last longer. It could be a bit more expensive, but the total cost of ownership should be, of course, lower. The old lead acid battery versus new lithium ion previously tesla was using in the model s model x a 12 volt 33 uh, amp hour lead acid agm battery it stores about 0.4 kilowatt hour of energy but weights it's quali uh, quite uh, substantial on uh, 12 kilogram according to in engineering it's spelled the yeah, i-n-g-i-n-e-e-n-x uh, the batteries last tesla about two for two or four years which is pretty low and sometimes cause unexpected problems if the car stopped working this was the older battery the new lithium ion battery is much smaller and much lighter only about four pounds uh, 1 1.8 kilogram, kilogram that's because it's much higher energy density but also has a lower energy content so we assume that with a more reliable and smart sol uh, smart solutions there is no need for the 0 0.4 kilowatt hour the battery has only 0 1 point a kilowatt hour of energy um, according to that description the nominal voltage is slightly higher than normally in lead acid batteries which is 12.8 volt with four cells in series 3.7 volt nominal it should be at 14.8 volt for most of the time. As we can see in the second video, please look in the description of this report. Uh, the links will be there. The new battery consists of BMS circuit board made by Cattle and four prismatic NMC lithium ion battery cells connected in series together. It means that not only are the entry level Model 3 and Tesla Model Y equipped with cattle batteries, LFP traction batteries, but also the all new flagship Model S Model X has cattle batteries, just the auxiliary, not traction ones. There are no signs of heating system for the battery, which indicates that it's not required. According to the general cattle specs, uh, the battery cells can accept charging at temperatures as low as minus 10 Celsius. That's very cold. And they can discharge at temperatures as low as minus 20 Celsius. There is a theory that the system can heat up the battery with a repeated slow charging, discharging if need, with actually repeated slow charging and discharging if needed. The cycle life appears to be high at over 2000 cycles until the capacity will decrease to 80% of the initial value. If everything was well designed, it should last as long as the car. Well, this is very exciting, right? It's very interesting that Cattle is also making some batteries for, although auxiliary, for the Tesla's top selling, uh, top models and high, high end models. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a great day and look forward to my next story. Peace be with all of you and your families. Let's move on to the next Tesla story, friends.